Booner School for you. Today I'm on a property that's kind of in a bottom area and it's got some uh, a pretty good sized creek ditch running through it. But what I want to show you what I'm looking for here and as you can see behind me there's a food source right here which is soybeans. And then we got a big hill up here. They cross this um, other side of the field and they can be up on a big hill and it's bedding. And then same on the other side they got bedding you know out of this bottom on each side of this bottom is bedding areas up on these hill banks now they will bed in this time of year a lot in this bottom because it's cooler and you know they kind of get away from some of the flies and stuff down in here but as typically as the uh, fall approaches and the leaves come off they're not so much in this bottom but what they use this bottom for a lot is they're they're cruising this bottom or they're traveling through it from one hillside to another or from the food source from one bedding area to another and a lot of times areas like this can be a little baffling to people of like how they want to set up or where should they set up, you know, to get on a deer. And uh, one thing that I look for a lot is like good creek crossings. Now there's creek crossings all up and down this creek. But what I try to do is pick one spot on this whole creek that I feel can give me the best options um, to have a stand for the easiest access to get in and out uh, for me so I'm undetected and I can get the best wind directions possible. And... Uh, as long as this bottom is down in here, I can get a pretty consistent wind most of the time. Sometimes the wind will swirl because of the structure on each side of the field. And on those days, I try to hunt the right kind of thermals that will lift my air, you know, up out of the ground. Um, so anyways, what I'm looking at here is you can see <clears throat> that this creek runs this way, okay? And it comes right down through here. There's a crossing here, another one there, and one just a little farther down. But what happens is you'll notice this creek runs right up through here also. And so now what you've got is you've got three, what I call like a three corner system. <clears throat> and so what you've got is, which is hard for you to see, but there's another crossing right over here. Okay. There's a crossing down here, two crossings right here, right there is a stand. Now, that's a little tight, a little bit tight on the feet, you know, on the on the trails. I don't like to be that tight most of the time. But what I have found hunting this spot is that, you know, I can let the deer get underneath me or away from me and then I can get a shot at them out here. Um, over here, it's plenty of good distance, you know, 25 yards, good broadside, 30 yard shot right there. If they cross behind me, I can get them. If they're running a doe around down in here, which just happens a lot, they get does cornered down in this bottom and uh, you always catch these does getting across these creeks trying to get away from these bucks. So it's just a great spot. It, it gives you a water source close to a food source. Plus you've got a really good area to pinpoint these deer. Um, so again, what I call it is kind of like a three point creek system. It's kind of like an intersection and it just gives you a lot of multiple crossings to pick from that really increases your chances of deer sightings and the kind of deer you want to shoot. So hope that helps you guys out. Stay tuned for some more Booner School coming up.